everyone, it's your girl Rainy Jinx and I'm here with another video. Today is an exciting day because I got my package in from Wow African and I recently bought a wig. It is my first lace front wig so I'm a little nervous because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys. This is the box that it came in and it's pretty lightweight. Nice and small, so let's see what's inside. I see they have a little pamphlet on instructions on how to care for the wig. And then under that is the wig itself. And it has a little hairnet around it. I'm assuming to make sure the wig that stays intact while it's inside the box. And obviously this was inside the plastic as well. Um, also to protect it from the box and it looks like it's in pretty good condition to have you know traveled all the way from China so um, yeah let's just take it out of the hair net and yeah I did get like a wavy but it's like it's, st it's still straight it's not curly hair it's straight hair wig but it's wavy so there's comb there's a comb right here in the front and are there any more a comb on either side and then there's also an uh, adjustable strap here sticking out I don't know if you can see that this is what the hair looks like it's pretty soft it feels really good in the smell I mean I know it has a factory smell but it's not that bad actually like I've heard of wig smelling kind of really bad out of the box but yeah it doesn't really have a smell um, it is 1B and honestly, it looks a little light. You probably can't tell on camera, but I mean, I guess it'll look fine on my head, but it's a little bit lighter than I thought it would be. But this is kind of like what 1B looks like. Um, my hair tends to look a little bit darker, but then again, not really in the summertime. It does lighten up. So I guess this will look fine. And here are the beautiful waves. This honestly looks pretty good out of the box. Like I'm pretty surprised. It's not flattened out or anything like that. And it does have like a little side bang here. For the lace itself, it is transparent in the front. So you see my hand. I am pretty excited about this wig. I will co-wash it because the instructions do say to co-wash the hair before wearing it. I bought a little plastic wig stand so that it can air dry and sit on my wig stand. I'm really like loving the quality of this hair and I'm really excited to wear it. It is 14 inches. I didn't want to get anything ridiculously long because I wanted something to look, you know, realistic to my hair. So yeah, I like the length. It's really nice. So yeah, just stay tuned if you want to see how I end up styling this wig and how it looks on my head. <laughs> hey everyone, so it's the next morning and pretty much I have co-washed my wig. And as you can see, it didn't return to that bouncy curl that we had um, before washing the wig. But I'm pretty sure that's because they styled it for me before they sent it to me. And now it's just, you know, just a light wave going on. And the hair still looks wet, but it's actually dry. So this is what it looks like after um, co-washing and air drying. I let it air dry overnight. And I did pre-part it. So as you can see, I'm going to part on this side of my head. And I also parted it on this side of the head while it was still wet so that it would lay that way. Um, I just need to cut off the lace in the front of the wig and then I'm going to throw it on and style it. Oh, and to lay down my hair, pretty much I just did flat twist. I just flat twisted the hair down. So here I'm just throwing on the wig and just situating it on my head and making sure that the part just lines up with my natural part. I also decided to tweeze some of the hairs just so that the part looks more like my natural part. Alright, so since I still have this 
little bit of lace sticking up right here. I just, I'm just gonna take some lash glue and I learned this trick from a few YouTubers here and um, just apply it where the part is and hold it down just so it can stay and make sure that the lace doesn't flip up <laughs> midday. <laughs> So that's what I'll do there. And you only need just a dab of it. I'm getting blush glue on the hair, which is not good. So everything is looking, it's coming together. It's coming together. It's my first time. So <laughs> so now I'm just going to take my concealer and conceal the part. I mean, it looks pretty natural on its own, but um, just to make it appear even more natural, I just want to conceal it just so you can't tell that it's lace right here because you can kind of see, yeah. Definitely like all the holes and stuff So I just want to conceal that and make it look better All right, so um, what I think I'll do next is I think I'll just cut some bangs here because there are bangs on this wig already But originally they were on this side. Um, I like the waves on their own if I put product in them I probably could have worn them out like this but there's no product in them really right now so I think I'll put a flat iron to it and put some like more bouncy curls in them pretty much so that's what I'll be doing next I can actually show you the back and how long it is this is 14 inches and yeah I mean it's pretty long this is a good length for me So yeah, I really like the length. I'm pretty glad actually that I didn't go any longer because this is like normal to me. Anything past this is like too much for me. So <laughs> um, yeah, I really like this length and um, I cut the bangs pretty rough, but I mean, I don't really care too much as long as it's somewhat uniform. <laughs> Alright people, so this is the finished result and I am loving it. It's nice and bouncy. It took no effort to curl. I only kept the temperature on 300 degrees and yeah, I got this result. I made sure I used heat protection and everything so it should be all good. Now, it does feel like um, the Milky Way weave um, that I used to buy at the, you know, the beauty supply store. It does have that feel. It is nice and soft and Milky Way is usually soft in the beginning so I don't know how well this wig will hold up to be honest because it does feel like that texture to me and it doesn't feel like, I mean it's not virgin hair. It doesn't say so in the title so I was taking my chances anyway. I mean it feels good now and I hope it lasts me at least a while because I would like to be able to wear it for a while. Um, but I mean, other than that, the hair is good quality. Um, there is, you know, it's not a bunch of hair on this wig, but I do like the amount of hair that I do have. It's a natural looking amount of hair. <laughs> um, 
And yeah, I might finger comb this out so it's not so curly. But then again, it is raining today, so it might drop anyway. But I really like this hair, and um, maybe I should do a close-up. Yeah, like, it's pretty. And yeah, so I might wear this hair for the week and then go back to my hair, but it's nice to be able to why am I talking to you then? But it's nice to be able to give my hair a break for a while and not mess with it. So this is a great protective style if you are looking for like a very protective style. I don't like wearing weaves at all, so this is literally the best option for me. And um, I'm loving it because I can take it off at night and tend to my hair if I need to and all that good stuff. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and comment down below your thoughts about this wig if you like it on me or not if it looks too fake or I feel like it looks good though like this is what I usually look like when I get weaves like I usually get this length this hair texture so it's not abnormal for me and like this video if you liked this little unboxing slash you know mini review and um, yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.